In this video, we are going to graph inverse secant and identify the domain and range. We begin with the original graph of secant. Now secant is a function because it passes the vertical line test. This means if I draw any vertical line to the graph, it will only intersect the graph one time. However, in order for a function to have an inverse, it must be one to one. In other words, the graph must pass the horizontal line test. This means if I draw any horizontal line to the graph, it will only intersect the graph one time. Clearly, secant is not one to one. It fails the horizontal line test. But mathematicians are clever. Mathematicians decided to restrict the domain from zero to pi over two, but not actually including pi over two, and from pi over two to pi. In this way, the graph passes the horizontal line test and thus secant has an inverse. So we restrict the domain from zero to pi over two union pi over two to pi. Let us redraw the graph of secant with the restricted domain. So I'm going to draw We have pi over two, we have pi, and we have one and negative one in asymptote at pi over two. And here we have a point at pi negative one and it swings out like this and a point at zero one, and it swings up like this. The following are the steps for graphing inverse secant. Step one, draw a neat number quadrant. It is important to note that pi over two is approximately 1.6. So we want to put pi over two somewhere in between the numbers one and two. Also note, that the number pi is approximately 3.14. So we want to put the number pi somewhere at about the number three. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to draw my number quadrant. And here I have one, two, and instead of three, I'm just going to put the number pi, and here I have negative one, negative two, and negative pi. And I have one, two, and pi. Negative one, negative two, and negative pi. And pi over two will be somewhere in between the numbers one and two. Step two, draw the line y equals x. So I'm just going to put a couple dots. So 
So we have two, two, pi, pi, negative one, negative one, negative pi over two, negative pi over two. There's a point. I'm just putting a few points on the graph. And I'm just going to draw a dotted line. Just like that. Step three, draw the restricted graph of secant. So it is important to note that we have a point at zero one. We have a vertical asymptote at x equal pi over two, and we have another point at pi negative one. So I'm going to put those points on the graph. So we have a point at zero one, a vertical asymptote at x equals pi over two, and we have another point at pi negative one. And the graph is going to Swing this way and swing that way. Step four, swap the x and y values. So we have a point at zero, one. So zero, one becomes one, zero. We have a vertical asymptote at x equal pi over two. So this will become a horizontal asymptote at y equals pi over two. And we have a point at pi negative one, so it will become negative one pi. So I'm gonna put those points on the graph. So one zero will be here. A horizontal asymptote at y equals pi over two. So it's gonna come out like this. And another point at negative one pi. So negative one pi will be here. Step five, draw the new graph by reflecting about the line y equals x. So I'm just simply going to reflect. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna draw it out like this. And I'm gonna come here draw it this way. Now let's separate the new graph from the old one so we can get a good look at the graph of inverse secant. So I'm just going to come here and redraw. Here we have one and negative one and we have pi over two and pi. We have a horizontal asymptote at y equal pi over two. We have a point at one zero and we have a point at negative one pi and the graph swings towards the asymptote and swings towards the asymptote here. So y is equal to secant inverse of x. Now it is easy for us to identify the domain and range of inverse secant. The domain is from negative infinity to negative one, union from one to infinity. So we say 
from negative infinity to negative 1, union from 1 to infinity. Note that we have a set of brackets by the negative 1 and the 1. That means we are including the negative 1 and the 1. And we can see that it includes negative 1 and 1. The range is from 0 to pi over 2, but not actually including pi over 2. And from pi over 2, not including pi over 2, to pi. So we say from 0 to pi over 2, union from pi over 2 to pi. Note that we have a set of brackets by the 0 and the pi. That means we are including 0 and we are including pi. Also note that we have a set of parentheses by the pi over 2. This means that we're not including pi over 2. If you were to look at this on a unit circle, here we have 0, here we have pi, and here we have pi over 2. So we're not including the pi over 2, but we can have all the values in the upper region of the unit circle when considering the range of inverse secant. And that is how you graph inverse secant and identify the domain and range. Thank you for watching and always remember that you are awesome.